Taoiseach, obviously it came as a surprise to some people last week when you kept Justice Minister Helen McEntee in her position. Are the public to take from this that your priorities and policies when it comes to law and order are unchanged from your predecessor? So it certainly didn't come as a surprise to me, uh, though obviously lots of people speculate as to what I was going to do in relation to the Cabinet. I was conscious that it would be my decision and my decision alone, and I was pleased to reappoint uh, my colleague, Minister McEntee, to the Department of Justice. Um, I think Helen and myself have a very shared view in relation to a number of the legislative priorities that we wish to see take place um, in the weeks and months ahead. Measures around knife crime, measures around the sentencing of people who carry out knife crime, measures around antisocial behaviour, measures around prison capacity, measures around minimum tariffs for people who carry out the most heinous um, crimes in this country and um, to empower the judiciary to be able to set a minimum time that a person must serve in prison before they can see a parole board and also when it comes to migration making sure that yes we have a firm system uh, and a fair system that we live up to our obligations and that we that we have a humanitarian approach but also that we have quicker turnaround times and if you don't have a right to stay here that you get asked to or do indeed leave uh, more quickly so i'm confident that the government and the three parties in government uh, have a shared view but i'm aware of this i'm aware that when it comes to issues around law and order when it comes to issues around public safety we have a big piece of work that we need to do and that's why i had a very good meeting with the garda commissioner and the minister for justice uh, last friday Kevin.